Hi, um, my name is Gudrun Raudhar. I am the uh, Kingdom Social Media Discord Deputy for Trimeris, and this class is the Trimeris Discord Server class. Um, so the intent of this class is to help people to understand how Discord is used and to maybe help people transition um, to using many of the new technology things that we have available in Trimeris. Um, and in the SCA at large or even in your everyday lives you can use this in multiple different ways. So the first thing that we're going to discuss is what is Discord. Discord is a voice over internet protocol and it is an instant messaging social platform. So what does that mean? It means that users have the ability to communicate with voice calls, video calls, text messaging, media, and files in both private chats or as part of communities called servers. So Trimeris has its own Discord server and this server does not replace the Trimeris Facebook group. That needs to be stated right up front. They are two different platforms and they both serve different purposes. So how is Discord? different from Facebook. As I said, Discord and Facebook are both used to communicate with others. However, they serve very different purposes. Facebook, for instance, has feeds and curated profiles. So you have your own profile that you curate to make it yours. Um, anybody who knows my profile knows that it's primarily all about leather work and the things that I love. Other people might choose to produce other content for their profiles and then that content is sent out towards your audience. That means that only the people who are friends with you, um, directly friends with you, can see your content unless you mark it as public. So my Facebook is a very public Facebook but other people might only have a very small group of people that they interact with even within Trimeris. Um, and those are the only people who are seeing your content. Furthermore, Facebook's profiles and your feeds are based on the Facebook algorithm, which means that certain content that you put out might not make it onto my screen. I might never see that cute dog picture that you put out last week. It's a common misconception that if we are friends that we automatically see each other's content, we might not, depending on the size of the amount of people we have on our individual Facebooks. On Facebook we also have groups. Groups are feeds for a specific group of people or an audience it's like the Trimeris Facebook group which is where most of us have interacted with each other for years. Um, we interact on that group and we might not be friends so if you put something to the Facebook group for Trimeris I might see it because I'm also on that Facebook group but that's also not necessarily true because there are so much so many um, pieces of information going to the Facebook group I don't necessarily see it on any given day simply because there's a lot of other content that goes on to the Facebook group for Trimeris and I don't always get to see every time that something comes up and that can be a detriment when you're trying to um, present an event that's happening or to promote your local groups fighter practice um, not everybody's gonna see it and it might not make it onto the pages and the people and to the people that you want it to. So Facebook groups, they're great and they have a specific purpose because they are a curated feed for a specific group of people and people that want to be in there. Uh, Facebook groups are also moderated heavily by our social media team um, in Trimeris. So bear all that in mind when you think about a Facebook group. Individual groups uh, within the SCA also typically have their own uh, group that's associated with their smaller audience. And most of the time, when you're when you are in one of those smaller groups, you're still going to you're going to actually get all the content because there's just only a few people in it, um, and and then that means that you get to see everything that's actually happening 
generally within those smaller groups. Um, another problem with Facebook groups is the groups might not make it onto your personal feed. So if I go back here to where you see my feed, this is my feed coming through and that is a um, Gulf Wars um, group that's associated with things we're doing for Gulf Wars. And I might not have seen this particular post in my feed because of Facebook's algorithms. But if I went to that actual group and were looking for that information, then I might see it. So Facebook has some benefits and it has some negatives in both its groups and its generalized platform. Discord, on the other hand, operates in a very different way. It is a live real-time chat. It is a chat room and a voice and video sharing platform. So Discord incorporates both the aspects of, say, um, Facebook chats, where you're directly speaking to an individual um, or a group of individuals if you have created a group chat on Facebook. Discord does that as well. Um, and it operates much like Zoom. Um, it can operate like Zoom, where you have the Brady Bunch boxes of video and you can use that to share and stream and do all that. The difference that I like about Discord in comparison to using Zoom for like meetings is Discord's completely free. There's no time lock. And in general, Discord's video platform sharing, um, or video sharing platform rather, is of a higher quality than Zoom is in comparison. Um, so let's jump into how do you use Discord as a general user? So Discord has um, basically four main sections in it. And I'm going to bring up this here so you can see. In those four main sections, when you first open Discord itself and you, might, you make your way into a server, and I'm going to show a little bit more about how you get into the Trimera server in a moment. But when you first open Discord, you will see on the left-hand side are are your icons. You won't have many icons when you first join Discord because you haven't joined any servers yet. As you can see, I have a lot of icons on my left hand side, everything from uh, the Trimeris, um, where you can see that little symbol there, that's the icon for the Trimeris server, which I'm showing you on the screen here. Um, above that is another little server that's for my my family, like my direct family, my daughter's off at college, so we use Discord a lot to communicate amongst my family members and to play games together. Um, and so that's the number one, is all these little icons on the left hand side is your server list. Once you click on a server, once you click on one of those icons, you are in, you see the channel list. That is that um, next row, um, next column rather, of things that are like it says mod room content hosting events announcement SEA content antechamber things like that those are your channels those are basically the individual um, places where you talk to one another right they can be anything from announcement channels to general populist discussion channels okay so the channels are separated into multiple drop-down menus, and those are called categories. So we've got Populous Social Trimeris. We've got things that are chatting about specific uh, topics like our archery channel. Um, and you then select a channel, and that chat window will open up in the middle, which I've labeled as number three, which is the main chat. This is where you will find whatever is in that channel and then on the uh, right hand side is last but not least the user list you can individually see people's profiles but unlike Facebook discord profiles are relatively um, minimalistic so that is the basic overview of how discord operates in what the different spaces are okay so I'm going to share my screen and we are going to jump into the actual server um, into the Trimeris server. So when you first open up 
the Trimeris server. I'm going to go into my server settings and I want to show you guys what the onboarding looks like. So when you first join the server, this is what it looks like. Right? It pops up, it asks, are you a new person to the SCA? If you answer yes, it'll take you, it'll, it'll give you a role. If you answer no, it'll give you the, it'll just add you to this group down here. If I say yes, it will also add me to newcomers table Trimeris. This is another chat room. So I'm going to say no. It'll ask me if I belong to a barony. I'm going to say no. It just gives me the member role. If I say I'm out of kingdom, it says it'll give me this and this. Um, if I say I'm from Wyvernwood, <laughs> you can add more, right? So, and, and you can add these even if you're not, if you don't belong to this group. Um, like say, I, I live near Darkwater and I want to get Darkwater information. So I'm going to add Darkwater role regardless, okay? So you can do that stuff. Okay, and then I'll ask if you want the Shires. These are the same thing. Um, you can say what you belong to. It'll add roles based on that. What interests do you have? It's kind of self, this opens up other channels, right? And then you click finish and then you're here. Now I've clicked those things. I have access to those particular channels, um, including specifically the dark water channel, right? Cause I clicked dark water. I have access to the events channel which shows me everything that is happening events wise. This is not a channel you can talk in typically. It is a channel to announce your local events. Announcements are specifically from your discord deputy and your kingdom social media officer and your kingdom officers if they need to make announcements to the kingdom as a whole. Um, and then you've got SEA content where people are um, posting content that is specific to the SEA. This could be your, uh, right, like I made an announcement for the Trisky. Um, uh, Megan Muir makes announcements whenever the craft room ca craft night happening. Um, things like that are happening. Uh, it can also be streams, like Connell has a, uh, did a Norse Viking wire weaving bracelet stream a little while back. So that's where that channel is what it is. Announcement channels have these little icons on the side over here that make it that say announcements and they'll have like a horn next to them. Um, if I click on the antechamber this is where everybody says hello right it's where you end up when you first join and we make sure that you get the right um, roles and that your name gets changed as you need it to be this channel is just the rules and regulations. This channel, if for some reason when you did your onboarding process, you did not get to see uh, the role selection that you wanted, like say, okay, I didn't get Barony of Castlemere. You can click the C, bam, it'll add Castlemere, and it will open up Castlemere, Castlemere for you, okay? and give you that role. It also gives you, you can use, um, you can click here for your pronouns if you'd like to get those and your your specific officer role. So if you're an officer in the SEA within your local group or a kingdom officer, you can choose to do any of these and um, open up those particular roles and things with the, and things that are associated with those roles. So pretty much everything um, in Discord, in our Discord, is attached to a role that is then attached to your profile. So if I open up my profile over here, you can see that I've got Darkwater, Rapier, Archery, Member, Out of Combat. Actually, that's not my, that's based on my, we're still in the onboarding thing here. Okay, so let's open it up better. All right, this is my actual role and how it works. So I've got Discord Deputy, which is an administration role. I've got a moderator admin role. I'm a kingdom officer. Um, and I've got all of these other roles. Now I can click them and remove them if I don't want them, right? So these are the things that are associated with me. They give me abilities within the server itself to do different things. Now I have the ability to do everything, all the things, all the time. As you can see, um, 
when I showed you when I only had the dark water roll in the preview, I didn't, you didn't see all of these other things. Our um, officers are mods. You can see over here that the half Dan is a moderator. He also can see all of these things. You will only be able to see the things that are associated with the roles that you chose when you first joined the server, which is why if you need to change your role, you go back up here and you find what roles you want and then you just click the reaction to get that particular role. If you have any problems with not being able to see content that you want to see, you just pop into the general populous trimeris or into support ticket and you message me directly and I will make sure that you are in the place where you need to be. Okay, so a lot of this can be a little overwhelming. Um, when you first join. It's like this is a lot of information. How do I know where I'm supposed to be? In general, this small chat room right here, Populous Social Trimeris, um, is where you want to talk in general. It, it Pretty much everything can go here, right? So this is where most of your conversations are going to happen unless you're looking for a specific interest. For instance, if I want to go into the ANS room, there's been a lot of discussion about different things that are happening. You can see pictures and links and, you know, discussions and all of this information is here for somebody. Or if I'm a merchant and I've got a question, like for instance, Valdemar asked, is anyone else planning to having a table at TMT to tell, sell their wares? And Filomeno responded, um, if you're interested in doing something service-wise, so on and so forth, you want to talk about rapier combat, then sure, you're going to come down here to the special interest. But for the most part, you're going to find yourself right here in Populous Social Trimeris. You can ask questions, you will find links, so on and so forth. If you're not here to chat and you just want announcements, then these announcement channels are the three places that you will find yourself looking. So um, there's some other features that are available. So um, one of those features is the forums, which, oh, I clicked the wrong thing. Forums are, these operate just like forums on any um, web page. Basically, these are your. This is your feeds that you're looking for, right? People posting things, and anybody can post here, and it brings up on the almost this, like, like this one is one of my favorites. It's show us your heraldry, and people just respond to this question with all of their different heraldry, and it was an awesome one. Um, you can ask questions. Like I asked, which one is better, heavier, heavy stick or light stick? And a lot of our fighters discussed the differences between that. Um, we have channels for everything from the word fame to pet pictures. You want to post about your pets? This is where it's at. Now, what makes this better, in my opinion, than Facebook, per se, is that each of these chat channels is specific to a purpose. This is your general talking, but this one, this one has been very, very important for a lot of our newcomers. So all of our newcomers are, they get a role. When you clicked that, are you a newcomer? You get this role that is newcomer and it opens up this room where everybody can see it. Um, but it allows us to answer questions that newcomers might have. Uh, for instance, you know, people are asked about how, to make a basic tunic. This was a great uh, great resource for them. Um, does anyone have a good place for linen rayon blends? Uh, a new person might not know the answers to some of those questions and this is where they get to ask them in a low um, stress environment. So it's very specific. They know that, that everybody knows in this channel they're new and they're asking questions to help them integrate into the SEA. Um, Thomas, our meme master here, brings the memes. I keep these all in this one channel so that um, they don't overwhelm the general chat. 
So there's lots of channels that are specific. Now let's move into the voice channels. So the voice channels, which I can't actually show you right off the bat because if I pop in here, it's going to take my camera away from um, and the ability to share screen away from the presentation that I'm doing. But these are voice channels and they have the voice icon. And if you run over it like this, you can see the voice icon. I have several channels that are specific to certain things like the craft room is where we have host our craft nights. You want to go sing with each other or listen to people singing Bardic, we're going to have uh, full on Bardics online right there where you'll be able to hear, see, and join in. Gaming is when we're all gaming together. AFK is what happens when somebody joins the server and they they accidentally leave their computer on or they whatever, it will automatically move them out of one of these voice channels and into the AFK channel, which does not have video or voice enabled. We have officer meeting rooms. Uh, this one's for the constabulary, which they asked for. Um, the arts and sciences officers, this is their room. Uh, we had a meeting here for we had 15 people in this room um, Tuesday. Kingdom officers have their own room. And this is for kingdom level officers. Um, and each of the groups, so for instance, Oldenfeld has used this, has used Discord for their business meetings. So has Marcaster. And if I open up Marcaster here, they have business meeting. They also requested a TMT channel to discuss TMT that they are currently organizing. So if I go in there, they're discussing all the different aspects of TMT in their stuff. Each group has their own announcement channel. So this only goes to the people who have the Oldenfield tag. So if I look over here at Aurelia, who is um, our ePay deputy, coincidentally, she has the Oldenfeld tag, Armored Combat, Rapier Combat, Surface, and Marshall, which means she sees that out of all of these individual groups, all she sees is Oldenfeld and these channels associated specifically with their group. So that really answers the question of how do I put Discord to use for my local group? Discord can be used um, in pretty much any way you want to to connect your people together. So used more with our younger generation than it is with older generation of, of people in Trimeris. So Discord, when we are doing demos and you ask somebody, do you have Facebook? Do you want to join our Facebook group? A lot of our uh, local groups have been finding that, especially at like conventions where they're trying to um, recruit newer or uh, younger people, that most of them aren't on Facebook. They they're like, uh, what? <laughs> and then you ask them, do you have Discord? And bam, they have Discord. So one of the cool things that I've done for our Discord, and um, I posted this in the Facebook, is I have given us a link that is um, specifically for joining the discord and I give it I've given us a QR code that can be used let me share my server again share my screen again okay so this QR code which um, if you're interested in getting the direct code I can I will happily um, send it to you uh, or you can pop in our Discord and and find it, and I will. It's actually uh, pinned, so it yeah, it is pinned. So that's another thing I should have gone over is if you're in a channel and you want to find important stuff, you can click the little pin icon that's up here, and it will open up the messages that I have said are important. Uh, this one needs to be unpinned. So. Like, for instance, for this one, I have the Trimeris Interactive Map and the um, promotional materials. That means that even though, if you see, I just scrolled all the way down, even though that's way back up there, you can jump straight to it, boom, and it'll find it. 
and then I can open that up in a browser by clicking that little button right there open in browser that's also true like if you want to if I go down here say I wanted to save this beautiful meme um, that Thomas put up <laughs> I could by clicking open in browser and it would open it in my in my browser screen and then I could save it from there so there's a lot of ways that discord be that can be put to use for your local group um, you can use it for your meetings you can use it to host your own bardics you can use it for whatever you want um, within reason as long as it's associated in our server with the SCA so I mean if you want to host a bardic message me and I'll set you up a channel for your local group um, if you want to have your business meetings so you don't have to have them under 45 minutes or you don't have to have people pay someone or your group pay for zoom so that you can have them forever however long you need to that um, that feature is already set up for you inside the Trimaris discord the the rooms are moderated you have full control every single group should have a social media officer that is uh, or a web minister that is available to help with the moderation for your individual sections and um, I'm always on hand to help out and answer questions um, so yeah if if you have more questions about anything that I can answer please feel free to um, get with me and thank you for joining me these are my um, social media IDs so you can find me on discord uh, by adding me um, as a friend which my number is Gorwin pound nine five oh two and my Facebook profile which is my name Gudrun Raudhar um, after facebook.com and if you'd like to join the Trimaris discord you can do so by going to this link and it will automatically pull up the discord